sorry, I was laughing. <laughs> I was laughing. I was trying to unfurl or untangle or, in other words, undo a, a certain thing that has vexed me about Facebook. I, I have to admit to certain levels of vexation, as appropriate, when I look at this and certain things don't happen. Like, for example, if you go to Facebook.com forward slash The Wells Report, you will join us in our chat room. It's right here. It's it's happening right this very moment. We have lots of people here j- enjoying the chat room, and uh, and it's really cool. There is a this chat room and this live video feed that goes with the chat room. Normally, at least in every other application that I've seen so far, except this one, uh, the uh, the actual comments on the chat room scroll up automatically. However, it does not happen here with mine, and I have no idea why. I have no idea why I have to manually scroll all of the all of the comments because it doesn't happen any other time in this radio station. So if you are a god of Facebook, and normally I rely on Jube Dankworth, the world's greatest publicist. By the way, she can be found at Net Media Consultants. Ask for her by name. She's the best publicist in the industry, and she handles the publicity for the Wells Report. Anyway, um, if you, uh, I normally rely on her, but for whatever reason, that that particular uh, that particular solution did not work. So I am vexed, and it's days before the Friday flameout, so I can devex myself. Telephone number is eight four four Radio US eight four four seven two three four six eight seven. Perhaps what I need to do is avail myself of Neuralink. Neuralink? Yeah. Neuralink. Yeah, this is something that is, well, this is a company. It's very secretive. And the guy who is behind Neuralink is Elon Musk. Yeah. Elon Musk is behind Neuralink. What is Neuralink? Well, it's a way to interface your brain with a computer. Yeah, it's a way to, it's a way to link up physically with a computer. (laughs) Aside from giving me the ultimate creeps, I'm wondering if it gives you the ultimate creeps. Would you ever hook your mind up to a computer? 844-RADIO-US, 844-723-4687. The reason we're asking is because there was a tweet the other day. We're having an event next Tuesday in San Francisco to share a bit of of, about what we've been working on for the last two years, and we've reserved a few seats for the Internet Apply Here. And you can go to Neuralink and apparently apply for these seats. Why would you do that? Well, it could be the big reveal of what this mysterious company has been up to since Musk announced it two years ago, hired a pack pack of leading university neuroscientists to pursue a goal of connecting human brains directly to artificial intelligence software. Would you do that? MIT Technology Review is the persons or the group that put this particular article together. Although everything about Neuralink is top secret, MIT Technology Review, we couldn't resist guessing at what the company will show the world. A look at the available evidence suggests that Neuralink will show off a high bandwidth connection to a monkey brain. One able to extract lots of information by recording the activity of many neurons at once using ultra-thin, flexible electrodes. That could be used to do something cool like get a monkey to play a video game with its mind. Okay. I mean, if I don't know that I think this is a good thing. Really, if I wanted to see a monkey play a video game with its mind, I would just hang out with my son more often. 
Okay, that was funny. I'm laughing. At least I'm laughing. <clears throat> was that? That wasn't racist, was it? No, I don't think so. Or was it? I don't know. I'm so confused now. You really want to do a... <laughs> Yvonne Field said this. She said, you really want to do a neural link between a blonde and a computer? Really? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, well, <laughs> I see what you're talking about. By the way, in case you're wondering, let me. speaking of, of things going wrong, uh, deliberations are currently going on regarding Nancy Pelosi's words and whether or not they should be taken down in the House of Representatives. Uh, earlier today, Pelosi reading a statement of censure by the House of Representatives against President Trump said this, the comments from the White House are disgraceful and disgusting, and these comments are racist. Top three Republican leaders, Kevin McCarthy, the minority leader of the House, Steve Scalise, the minority whip, and Liz Cheney. I don't know what Liz does. They came to the floor as they awaited a decision that is currently being deliberated about as we speak. Democrat leaders, the House Majority Leader, Steny Hoyer, Judiciary Chair Jerry Nadler, also on hand. Nadler and uh, the others are... Huddling, according to according to the report from CNN, Eric Swalwell is also part of that, so he's probably crafting some kind of political bomb to throw because that's what he does. If it's ruled that Nancy Pelosi's words are going to be taken down because they violate the decorum of the House, it could mean a couple of things. First of all, it would mean that she's not allowed to speak again on the floor without the House's permission. Two. Uh, there's a problem because she was reading from the actual censure statement. So if her words are taken down, the censure statement is going to have to be rewritten. That doesn't mean it won't be rewritten. They're probably working on that right now. Meanwhile, Nancy Pelosi left for a, regi a religious freedom event off campus. Her staff has been on the floor near the dais in a tense huddle with parliamentarian staff in the House of Representatives and other staff for most of that time. So that's the latest. Should we connect Nancy Pelosi's brain to a computer? Huh? Anyway, Neuralink, getting back to Neuralink. According to the MIT Technology Review, Neuralink, it is a costly brain decoding venture, will struggle to address one very hard question. Why would you do it? Why would you actually interface your brain with a computer? According to Musk, who's also the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, human minds need to plug into the Internet so our species can keep up with artificial intelligence. <sighs> That's the futuristic scenario the billionaire laid out in April of 2017 via a marathon post on the website Wait But Why. But before we can all become cyborgs, companies like Neuralink first need an actual medical reason why medical and computer chips would belong in a person's head. I think the pathway is to determine or is to demonstrate in primates that they can reliably record a large number of neurons in a model of disease, said Christian Wentz, a technologist who sold his neurotech startup to a competing brain interface company, Kernel. <laughs> the whole move... <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't you think it ought to be general or, or maybe... Major General instead of Colonel. The whole the whole move is to justify to the FBA why you would put all of this into somebody's brain. Exactly what kind of application Neuralink has in mind and might show off is not known. That's a secret held even closer than the technology platform. Okay, so all I can ask is this. Would you do anything close to hooking up your mind directly to a computer? And people are saying that this is what it's going to take. This is what it's going to take to get people to be able to com com compete with artificial intelligence. Today it was announced that artificial intelligence solved a Rub Rubik's Cube in a fraction of a second. Now obviously I don't think the machine could actually manipulate the, cu the cube fast enough that he could figure out what the actual solution was. 
But as soon as computers are as physically dexterous as their ability to, and in case of the artificial intelligence, think we are on borrowed time. Our days are numbered from that moment. Because what we're doing is we're creating a technology that can outthink us, that can outmove us, and we don't know until it's probably too late. We won't know whether or not this artificial intelligence becomes self-aware. If it is true artificial intelligence, you'd have to drop the artificial at some point in favor of superior. Because if it can think twice, three times, five times, a thousand times, two million times faster than you, you become the goldfish in the pond. You know how you know how you look at your dog and you take really good care of your dog, you know, you make sure they have food to eat and water to drink and make sure they go to the vet when they need to, all that kind of stuff. Well, that's what that's what artificial intelligence would do with us. Because it would literally be able to run circles around us at light speed. Not just run circles around us, but run circles around us beyond the speed of sound, beyond the speed of light, or at least at the speed of light. And that is something that Elon Musk might think you want to tap into. My confusion or concern, well, it is confusion, is is essentially written about in this particular article from MIT Technology Review. Why would you want to do that? You're not going to be able to keep up with artificial intelligence. You're simply not. And as soon as there's some sort of practical interface between artificial intelligence and the real world, like I said, our days are numbered. Wouldn't Elon Musk actually be providing artificial intelligence with an opportunity to actually connect itself to the real world by virtue of a connection between artificial intelligence and a human being? And how would you know that what you're thinking is actually what you're thinking? What if what you were thinking was what the artificial intelligence was actually thinking? What if you did not know? Don't laugh. There are all kinds of useful idiots out there that are manipulated by one intellect into believing that what they're thinking is truly their own thought, when in reality it is a cynical abuse of one human using another. It happens all the time. We call it politics. But what if it actually happens? Would you voluntarily hook yourself up to a machine? If artificial intelligence is as smart as all of that, will it figure out a way to hook itself up to us without us knowing it? Does this frighten you in any way? You're listening to The Wells Report. If you're over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days, I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. A free book to help you maximize your retirement income from television host and three-time author Josh Melberg has been released. This book reveals little-known truths about annuity strategies in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now because we are about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known secrets we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity. Call 800-985-1813 now and you'll receive a free copy of Josh Milberg's book, Next Gen Annuity Strategies Revealed. As a bonus, we'll also send you a copy of The Number One Mistakes Retirees Are Making With Their Investments Today and a free DVD on how you can get up to 33% more income in retirement. Call 800-985-1813 now. Again, that's 800-985-1813. Employees of J.D. Milberg Financial have the appropriate licenses for the products they offer. I used to wonder when I saw people going into nice hotels, really nice hotels, taking a pillow with them. That was before I got on my pillow because I know it doesn't matter where I'm going. 
whether I'm going to a one-star, three-star, five-star hotel, my pillow goes with me, whether it's just overnight or whether it's on vacation. And here's the great deal about my pillow right now. The lowest price ever offered on radio or TV, two my pillow premium pillows for 69.98, that's only 34.99 per pillow, the lowest price ever offered on radio or TV. And it's still the same pillow. Great pillow, 60-day money-back guarantee, 10-year warranty, and call them, 1-800-951-8175, or go to MyPillow.com, use promo code USA, click on the two-pack special, and get the best deal you've ever gotten on a good night's sleep when you get a MyPillow. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Why? Because you can save 45% on packages compared to your high-priced cable bill. Wow. Take those giant scissors out and cut the cable and save with Dish TV. Plus, you get a free DVR upgrade to record your favorite shows and free installation. And with Dish Anywhere, you can watch TV for free on your mobile device. Act fast. You can save hundreds of dollars. Does your cable company do that for you? I don't think so. Get all the best TV programming at your fingertips at a fraction of the price of cable TV. So say adios, arrivederci, goodbye to the high cable bill, and save up to 45% on Dish TV packages today. These are limited time offers and can change at any time. Call fast. 800-610-5739. 800-610-5739. 800-610-5739. That's 800 610 If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-561-5716. That's 800-561-5716. Again, 800-561-5716. You are listening to the Wells Report. My name is John David Wells. <laughs> Remember that uh, Minnesota City Council, St. Louis Park? About a week ago, they unanimously voted to to stop saying the Pledge of Allegiance before their actual meetings. Yes. Yes. They said the Pledge of Allegiance was non-welcoming. To who, I asked, and never really got a satisfactory answer. I mean, seriously, it's like uh, this group of people, for whatever reason, said, we're not going to say the Pledge of Allegiance because we don't think it, we don't think it's welcoming to people who may disagree with it. And I'm going, okay, so how about this? How about if they disagree with the Pledge of Allegiance, How about they stand by respectfully until the people who do agree with the Pledge of Allegiance finish saying it? Wouldn't that be decorum? Wouldn't that be be the right thing to do? I mean, I would even go a step further to say, even if you were offended by the Pledge of Allegiance, how about you try to leather up, cupcake? I mean, I don't... (laughs) Hey, it's the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. If you have a problem with the United States of America, the republic for which the flag stands, to the point where you feel put off and upset and angry that someone might be pledging allegiance to this country and its emblem, 
then I will follow in the footsteps of President Trump and invite you to leave the country. Oh, there, there I go. I am obviously a racist now, right? Wrong. Because I, too, don't have a racist bone in my body, and if you disagree, prove it. By all means. So what happened? What happened to St. Louis Park? They decided they weren't going to have the Pledge of Allegiance. Well, what happened? Well, yesterday they reinstated the Pledge of Allegiance at all their meetings unanimously. Yep. Apparently, the hundreds of people that showed up and yelled and screamed at how ridiculous it was that St. Louis Park would do away with the Pledge of Allegiance caused them to rescind and reinstate the pledge. City Council Member Steve Halifan said at the meeting, quote, I've concluded I made a mistake. I'm sorry, and I ask for forgiveness, unquote. The City Council, which is in controversial Democrat Representative Ilan's Omar, or Ilan Omar's 5th Congressional District, created an uproar after a unanimous vote which amended the procedural rules to cut the pledge from the start of each session. The change came as part of an effort to deserve a more, or to serve, rather, a more, quote, diverse community, unquote. We concluded in order to create a more welcoming environment to a diverse community that we were going to have to forego saying the Pledge of Allegiance before every meeting. They said, are you kidding me? So what ended up happening was is that people said, hey, knock it off. And crazily enough, they did. City council members spoke about the decision, their reaction to it. And they had taken on their their basic understandings for all of it. And Mavity, the councilwoman who proposed the original member, measure rather, remained defiant, even as she reversed her vote and addressed the council's critics. I'm not sure that if you say the pledge three times a month instead of two, you're more patriotic. Or if you say it one time a month, you're less patriotic. That makes no sense. That's because you are suffering from political poisoning. That's why Ms. Mavite rhymes with gravity. Just just do this. Just wait until the artificial intelligence hooks up with your mind, and you'll start making a lot more sense to someone, I think. If you're listening to The Wells Report. Do you wish you could get better sleep and maybe lose a few pounds? Maybe more than a few pounds? Well, there's this product called Calitrin that helps with both sleep and weight loss. Just listen to what people are saying about it. I've been taking Calitrin for right about three months, and I've lost 24 pounds and 19 overall inches. But my sleep has improved. I have so much more energy, and I have the desire to succeed more than ever. Anyone who needs weight loss, more energy, and better sleep, this product really does deliver. I'm Roger. Uh, Over the three months that I took the product, my sleeping habits... uh, are increasingly much better. I got a better night's sleep, and uh, I just can't say enough about the product and how it makes you feel. Also, uh, additionally, lost a little bit of weight on the program as well. Hi, this is Erickson. I take Calitrin for weight loss, and I've lost about 20 pounds, and I feel great. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help with sleep and weight loss safely and effectively. Check it out at toploss.com. That's toploss.com. <laughs> 